Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to my channel. Who is BlackRock and what assets do they own? So make sure to watch the full video. The largest business that you have probably never heard of is BlackRock Incorporated. As a risk management and fixed income institutional asset manager, BlackRock was founded in 1988 in New York City by founder and CEO Larry Fink. With a $10 trillion portfolio at present, it is now the biggest asset manager in the world. BlackRock is said to manage a quarter of the world's total wealth, which MarketWatch estimates to be over $40 trillion. BlackRock, with its comparatively secluded CEO, is the largest player on the world financial scene. Forget about Tesla and Amazon, with their zany, space-faring CEOs. What does it signify for the present and future of the global economy that BlackRock is now the biggest asset manager in the world? A monolithic media environment The big three passive fund asset management companies are Vanguard and BlackRock Vanguard is BlackRock's largest shareholder, and it owns State Street, the third company. It appears that BlackRock is the only way to go The majority owner of BlackRock is Vanguard The ownership of Vanguard funds, however, can be traced back to many of the oldest and wealthiest families in the world. Vanguard itself, however, has a distinctive structure that makes it more difficult to determine who owns it. For Spring 2023, the top 5 gaming chairs. 4 of the 6 media firms that dominate more than 90% of the US media landscape are owned by the top 2 financial institutions, according to Jeanette Copperman in a Common Reader article, Time Warner, Comcast, Disney, and News Corporation. Together, BlackRock and Vanguard control 18% of Fox, 16% of CBS, 13% of Comast, which owns NBC, MSNBC, CNBC, and the Sky Media Group, 12% of CNN, and 12% of Disney, which has a number of subsidiaries. Massive media corporations that can appear to be competitors are actually owned by the same organization. BlackRock's editorial clout within the businesses in which it holds stock is up for debate, but the fact remains that it has the ability to shape global narratives and have a significant impact on geopolitics genie of BlackRock. While Vanguard and BlackRock influence the worldwide media environment, BlackRock's hidden weapon, an innovative trading algorithm known as Aladdin, has been influencing international markets for decades. In 1988, Fink and a few of his colleagues developed a massive technology program that, according to some estimates, manages more than $21.6 trillion in assets. The Asset, Liability, Debt, and Derivative Investment Network, or Aladdin for short, is a computer program that conducts about 250,000 trades every day on average. Almost every major U.S. bank and the Federal Reserve are directed by Aladdin, who also performs trades in all asset classes throughout all sectors of the economy. In addition to 17% of the bond market and 10% of the stock market, it owns more than half of all ETFs. In less time than it takes for your brain to transmit an electrical signal through your nervous system to your fingers, it uses machine learning to determine which trades to make by collecting data points on every market, every company, and every asset. Almost 5,000 supercomputers make up the Aladdin network, which today serves as the brain of the most knowledgeable asset managers and investors in the world. Aladdin and its all-powerful AI have become the go-to strategy for beating the market for every major bank and fund, which begs some important questions about the nature of our precarious financial system. Just if you have the power the world economy might suffer immediately and irreparably if Aladdin's network were to be breached the monopoly this algorithm has established is the most existential issue. The world's highest bidders, mainly sizable hedge funds and megabanks, are effectively the ones BlackRock leases out its own golden goose to. This paradigm puts smaller investors at a significant disadvantage and allows firms like BlackRock and Vanguard to control the economy however they see appropriate. Gregoire Favit, the host of the BFM business TV show, and a journalist, remarked that as soon as BlackRock is listed as one of your owners, your business stands out from the competition and acquires a significant amount of prestige. You can converse on an equal footing with the IMF director or a head of state when your Larry Fink Emmanuel Macron was elected, and since then, Mr. Fink has already been welcomed twice in the Elysee. The city's keys. Every major bank, as well as the leaders of the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury, contacted Aladdin when the global financial crisis began when Bear Stearns Coz, a global investment bank. Securities trading business and brokerage firm based in New York failed in 2008 and was eventually acquired by J.P. Morgan Chase, 
The US government hired Aladdin to choose which assets to maintain and which to sell. Aladdin gained a renowned position among the international governing organizations as a result of its accomplishment in nearly single-handedly preventing the world's financial catastrophe. In the wake of the Great Recession, $2 trillion was printed, and Aladdin was given full reign to determine what to do with it. The vast majority of it was placed in bonds and money to support banks and mortgage businesses, assets in which BlackRock had already made significant investments. The majority of the company's fund managers were replaced by algorithms as part of Fink's new Monarch project, which was introduced at BlackRock in 2017. According to Investopedia, nowadays robots carry out more than 70% of all stock market trades it is impossible to exaggerate BlackRock's impact or the potency of its algorithm. By 2021, President Joe Biden's cabinet will include at least three executives from BlackRock who hold important positions. Adewale Adeyemo, a former chief of staff to BlackRock's CEO, was named by Biden as the top official in the Treasury Department, replacing BlackRock executive Brian Deese as head of the National Economic Council. An AI era. Aladdin has been subtly reshaping the global economy, growing the biggest asset managers, and saving entire nations as AI systems become more complex, perhaps to the point of being sentient. AI has existed for many years, the era of AI is not yet upon us and without it, our financial system would collapse because it is now so embedded into it. BlackRock Incorporated became the first public asset management to reach $10 trillion in assets thanks to a spike in fourth quarter inflows into its exchange-traded funds. According to a statement released by the company on Friday, investors made a net $104 billion inflow into ETFs in the three months that concluded on December 31st. This is a record for the business since the S&P 500 increased by 11% in the most recent quarter and by 27% in 2021, the largest asset manager in the world has also profited from a market upswing. In the last three months of the year, investors added a net $169 billion to the long-term investment vehicles offered by BlackRock, including mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. In a statement, Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink remarked, our business is more diversified than ever before almost 60% of the gain in the organic base fee for 2021 came from active strategies, including alternatives. Assets under management recovered from a decline at the end of the third quarter, which further solidifies BlackRock's leadership position in the sector. The earnings are announced ahead of Fink's annual letter to corporate executives, which lays out priorities on everything from boardroom diversity to climate change. Fink, 69, sends the letter each year. A net of $101 billion was poured into actively managed funds, which include mutual funds and ETFs now. $2.6 trillion worth of these assets is managed by BlackRock. The company's hedge fund-focused alternatives division witnessed inflows of $5.5 billion, bringing total assets to $265 billion. By comparison to the fourth quarter of 2020, employee salary and benefits grew by $218 million, indicating the company's decision to raise employee wages as U.S. inflation soared. For all employees at the director level and below, base pay increased by 8% beginning in September. BlackRock, a New York-based company, reported adjusted profits per share of $10.42, surpassing the $10.15 average forecast of analysts surveyed by Bloomberg. The quarter's sales fell short of the average forecast of $5.16 billion by $5.11 billion. According to Kyle Sanders, an analyst at Edward Jones, BlackRock missed its revenue targets because performance fees have been declining in early trading in New York. The shares decreased 1.6% to $854. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comments section below to tell us what you think about the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos.